very loving. That's why he's sitting. At the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, Little Hope has a broken heart. Her best friend, two-year-old Frederick, is in an extremely bad way. I got up this morning to see Frederick and um, normally he's running and jumping and trying to get into the house and um, he was a bit quiet this morning. I went out to him and he just didn't want to move and we tried and he just couldn't walk. Hello. Hello. This is Frederick. This is Frederick. Hi, I'm Lisa. This Come through. Bring him through. Frederick's family are here and they are so distressed about their little dog. He was completely normal last night and this morning he's now paralysed. He's gone downhill pretty quickly. Mm. All right. Um, and definitely, like, no trauma incidents. No, she nothing. wasn't playing with him, nothing no, like that, no, OK? I'm looking at Frederick try and move around the room and he's really not putting any weight on those back legs. He can't use them properly. He is a dashend and at the top of my list is something like a slip disc, but I can't rule out a trauma, a fracture, some other problem going on in his spinal cord. I need to have a good look at him first. All right, honey, let's see what you can do. See, what he should be able to do is flick those feet back. Mm -hmm. So I've put them in an abnormal position here and the feet should be able to flick back into their normal spot. I love you, Freddy boy. Can you see that? Yeah. So when I do it with the front legs, he gets up on the table. Yeah. When I do it with the back legs, yeah. it's almost like they're not there. So he can feel them, that's a good thing, right. but he can't move them. So, the situation we have with him at the moment is that um, he's showing me signs of spinal disease, okay? Dachshunds can have an abnormal development of their discs and those discs uh, can pop up. But if he does have a slip disc, then surgery would be his best chance of, sort of, of being able to walk again. The fact that Frederick's neurological function has deteriorated so rapidly over the space of, say, two hours, it means that it could get worse and quickly. And if we don't act now and get to a diagnosis and treatment, he may never walk again. Stay here. It's just for him to stay in the hospital. Please. At SASH, five-year-old Hope is frightened for her best friend, Freddie. The two-year-old Dachshund has completely lost movement in his hind legs and Lisa urgently needs to do a CT scan. I don't want you to go. Sweetheart, you're going to be a bit of a wreck, you? Stay with me. Stay with me. Sweetheart. Hey, what are you worrying about? I don't want him to stay here. Sweetie, do you want to make him a drawing and we can hang it in the cage for him, a special note from you? Would you like to do that? Yeah. I'm looking at little Hope and she loves Frederick. He is her best friend and her world has just come falling down now that her buddy can't use his legs. She's so worried that he will never walk again. I'll go and visit him tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to love that and you can bring him his favourite food. Mom. That's mum and Nick. Look, we see lots of tears here at Sash. But when I see a little girl like Hope at the age of five sobbing for her best friend, I feel a huge responsibility to get him back to her. He's going to come back. He'll be back. Down we go. Good boy. At Sash, Two-year-old Frederick's CT scan is underway. The much-loved Dachshund has suddenly become paralysed in his back legs. Lisa is hoping the scan will provide answers to his sudden loss of mobility. We've got to move pretty fast with Freddie because every minute we waste is more of a chance that he may never walk again. So he needs to have a CT urgently. We need to diagnose the problem. There's our problem. We know what's wrong with Freddie. He's got a ruptured disc that is compressing his spinal cord and causing the paralysis. Lisa calls in help from specialist surgeon, Dr. Andrew Marchewski. Well, he certainly um, popped a disc. Mm. 
you can see this is the spinal cord here and all, all this here, this white stuff, is disc that's come from up here and up into the spinal canal and just compressing the cord. All right, well, I think um, surgery is certainly the way to go. His cord's really quite badly compressed or squished. Mm. We should do it now because yeah. if we wait, his spinal cord's only going to get worse yeah. and okay. decreases his chances of recovery. Okay. So, well, um, let's do it. At SASH, Freddie's surgery is about to begin. Andrew needs to repair the young duck's on slip disc to give him any chance of walking again. Apart from taking the pressure off his spinal cord, we're going to get in and remove some of the degenerate discs that he's already got from other spots in his spine to hopefully reduce the risk of this happening again to him. It looks spinal surgery is always risky because you, you're opening up the canal, you're right there at the spinal cord, and it's really delicate. And unless you're really careful, we could actually make him worse, which sounds terrible, but we could. So he, he's on a knife edge at the moment. Just trying to find that this material and there it is. Dirty little stuff. That's just um, probably, I don't know, a quarter of the amount of stuff that's been sitting in around his spinal cord, causing all that pressure to build up. It's been a tense two hours. The delicate surgery is finished, but the outcome is still uncertain. Really, as careful as I was and always am in spinal surgery, there's always that risk that the spinal cord doesn't like what we're doing to it. Um, so the real risk here is he may get worse. He might lose sensation in his feet. If he does, that's really bad because then it's a real uphill struggle for him. Frederick, hi sweetheart. At SASH, it's been 24 hours since two-year-old Frederick underwent major spinal surgery. I've come to check on my special patient, Freddie, and I want to see how his neurological function is, what he can do, and if he can wag that tail. Hey, Freddie. Hey. Hey. What can you do by yourself? I can fall over. He can fall over? Huh? Specialist surgeon Dr Andrew Marchewski performed Frederick's delicate spinal surgery. He's hoping the two-year-old will soon be able to walk, but there are no guarantees. He's just not going to do anything, are you? Hey, Fred, what's the matter? So the family want to know if they can visit. You're happy with that? Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's, that's um, it'll do him some good. I bet you will see a tail wag then. I think so. Well, he's yeah. got his picture on the I wall. I saw the pictures. And I, I think we're going to be getting some more pictures. More pictures? Yes. Excellent. You can't eat the biscuits in for Frederick. I want to eat the bones. In reception, Frederick's family, Charlene, Hope and Evelyn, are anxiously waiting to see their beloved dachshund. Hope's sat up last night and she drew a picture for Frederick and she also bought him his favourite bone, so, or his favourite dog biscuits, so hopefully he'll be well enough to have them. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh my goodness, he's gonna love that. And his favourite treats? Yes. Yeah, you wanna come through and see him? Yeah. He had his big surgery, it's all done now. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> right. Come Mama, on. Mama. All right, let's go. You won't go. It's so wonderful to see three generations of a family here to visit Freddie. And it just gives me more incentive to get him home to the three mums that he's got. Oh, please, I love you, little tiny boy. Oh, I love you. Yes, you are. 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 Yes, you are
Hope is really upset to leave her best friend here in hospital and the reality is that I don't know how long he's going to need to stay with us and that's really difficult for a five-year-old to understand. Bye, Freddy. Bye, Bye, Bye little friend. Bye, Gonna lick my face. It's been almost a week since two-year-old Frederick arrived at Sash, unable to walk. I love <laughs> After invasive spinal surgery to repair his slipped disc, the little dachshund has made a remarkable recovery and is now ready to go home. We're here today to pick Frederick up. He, the house hasn't been the same without him. It's been very quiet. So we're looking forward to bringing him home. For Charlene's daughter, Hope, taking her best friend home is a dream come true. I love him really yeah, much. And when he comes I'm home, I'm, I'm going to give him a big hug. He's going to give me doggy kisses. Yeah, right. <laughs> come on. Let me see. Come here, Freddie. Wow. Look at you. Hey. Freddie, look at you. It's quite incredible to think that less than a week ago, this little dog couldn't walk. His back legs were paralysed. And now he's walking. He's wobbly, but he's still walking. And that tail does not stop wagging. And I love to see that. You won't believe it's here. Look at that. How are you? Hey, Helen. Oh, darling. How are you? What are you doing? <laughs> You're a good boy. See Hope's face today, knowing that she is finally taking her best friend home. It's not a visit, no more goodbyes. He's going home with her. And that hug she gives me, well, that just explains it all. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, it's my pleasure. You enjoy your best friend. I promised you I would get him back to you, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you for looking after Frederick. Bye bye. Bye, bye. 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 See you later. Bye, bye Freddie. You love the show? Now check out a new experience at bondivet.com. With trusted pet advice, expert vet help, products, and entertaining content. We're here to help 24-7. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.